Hey there everybody, it's Leland the Realtor and in this video we are going to talk about how to prepare your home when you're selling it for the inspector to go through it. So once your home is under contract, a buyer is going to want a home inspector to go through your home and inspect the entire thing. There are a handful of things that you really want to make sure you pay attention to and problems you want to solve before they even happen. One of the biggest items that I see are burnt out light bulbs. A lot of times the inspector goes, they take a look, oh, that light isn't working. And now in their report, it says that that light's not working and the buyer is wondering why, hey, why is this one not working when the rest are? Is the fixture bad? Is the light bulb bad? Is the wiring bad? Is the panel bad? Is the breaker bad? They don't know. So they are going to potentially get very scared of electrical issues, even if it's as simple as just a quick light bulb or a light change. So just make sure that all the light bulbs in your home are changed and working to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Now, the second big ticket item you wanna worry about are your actual pets. It is really important to secure your pets, put them in a crate, or make sure that they are safe when the inspector is going through your home. They are going to go through everything in your home. They're gonna go from the roof into the kitchen, check all the appliances, check, check the HVAC system, and so, so much more. So it's really important to make sure that your pets remain safe and of course the inspector themselves remain safe. So you do need to either crate or remove them from the home while the inspector is going through it. And our third important item is to make sure that all your pilot lights are lit. The inspector isn't going to light any pilot lights for you. If in your fireplace or your water heater or your furnace, the pilot light isn't lit, all the inspector's gonna do is try to fire up the device. And if they can't, they're gonna say, well, it's not working right now. And if it's something as solvable or as simple as a pilot light, you can get that fixed very quickly and prevent the potential termination of the contract because of something simple as a pilot light. You just don't want your buyer to think that your home is about to fall apart or your appliances are about to fall apart because of something small. And our last item is of course, make sure obstructions in the home are removed. A lot of people store a lot of items and that can block things like water heaters, furnace, electrical panel, and so much more. And if the inspector cannot get to those items, they are going to assume the worst and put that into their report and the buyer is going to see it potentially terminate or just be fearful of purchasing the home. Do your best to make the buyer feel as safe as possible when purchasing your home and make sure when they request repairs that they are legitimate repairs that are going to be very easy to do because you prevented the inspector from seeing things that really aren't there because you were ready. You had the pilot light going, you had the light bulbs, everything is removed and your pets were secured. So I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please share it with your family and friends. If you know anybody about to buy or sell a home, I would absolutely love to work with them. I am Leland the Realtor, keeping real estate simple. Have a wonderful day.